Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I'd like to show you that how to cut this steel bolt using a special metal saw. And I have in here metal saw where where is now used this this plate but I'm lucky and I have in here new at this uh, plate in here and uh, this is also safety plate and this this means that this uh, this plate don't scratch and uh, actually it, it don't go broken very easily it is really difficult to cut this plate and this is this is my favorite uh, favorite brands because here is this fish and this name is Pakho Pakho and uh, this is this is really excellent quality products and these Pakho products are origins come from Sweden and especially these tools what are made in Sweden Sweden this tool quality is excellent okay and I have in here spare part this uh, metal saw plate but now I try to first cut this my bolt using this old plate and then I will show that how to replace new plate and first when we are planning to cut steel and bolts we need all, always some kind of cool quality fastener as I do in here and then I I I fasten that bolt so that I insert that in here there is hole and then then I move that my tool and and then this bolt becomes tight in here okay and now it's in there and then I start to cut that my bolt so that I insert my show in here and then I start to move that in this way and little bit I press down this plate in this direction okay and let's look at how easily this engine bolt uh, cut and, and, and now I use the huge plate and actually this this is cutting this really really easily and, and when I am in half I will change this plate to new one okay now now I am in half and now I do this plate change and it, it happens so that that I, I take a little bit more space that first when I have this show in here I need to open that bolt in here. Actually not. I rotate that in this way and in that way this plate becomes loosened because that bolt moves in this direction. Okay and now it's in there and it actually moves and now now it now it opens and I think that some some, there, there are those bolts in here. Now I think that yes, this bolt is in ground. Okay, and here was a system that there is a small bolt what locks this plate. Okay, and then I take also that other bolt in here away. And, and now we have two bolts in there. And now this saw is also free. And here we have this old one. And how to notice that what is the difference between old plate and new plate? It's really easy. Because that material, this end area in here what I am touching, this burn out and there becomes holes and, and those small teeth becomes the actually burn out. And then when we compare that new one, there is nice 
nice teeth and no any that kind of holes. And this is the difference between old blade and new blade. And, and then I insert that blade in the back and there is idea that 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 one mandatory rule that these teeth what are in here now, that I am touching in now, they must be in below area, not in up. Sometimes I have installed this my blade in this way and then I think that why this area don't cut. And then this is the right way and then I insert that my blade in between these these points and because this is so interesting I I insert then that bolt in here and it locks locks okay and this is this is quite there is this hole and then bolt in this hole okay now this is fine and then same idea, same idea in here. And and then when I am planning, I am looking this hole, then I a little bit move that bolt, then then this hole becomes in this in this same. Okay, now there is this hole in there, and the hole through that part, and then this plate, and then I can insert this small locking bolt in there. Okay, now when this this plate is okay, then I start to fasten this plate that I rotate that in clockwise. And, and so much that this plate be, feels feels like very stable. It, it don't move any any more so much. Like quite, quite easily with two fingers. No any tongs in here, only fingers. And then when it is like very stable and, and when when this bolt rolls easily. Okay now it, it, it's quite easy to move and now it is enough and then then I saw that how this new new pakho pakho brand new metal plate eats this high quality steel and this is this is interesting because there is this old one and I will do in here in a couple of millimeters in that way new cut and let's check that what happens. Okay and how many I keep my finger in here and it is almost almost end Okay, and now it's open. This this pakho plates, they are so so good that that if I can recommend car brands like Toyota, this is also one plate what I can recommend also, and especially if there is this country called Sweden, it's the it is the Swedish quality is excellent. And now this bolt is cut and we have cut this bolt and really fast. Okay, and this was this information and thank you for watching this video how to cut bolts using metal saw. Thank you.